So you hit one golf shot and it goes right into the woods. Then you hit the second golf shot and it goes left into the lake. And on the third golf shot, you hit it dead straight perfect. And you're wondering, I just made the same swing three times. I got three different results. I'm about to go psychotic. What's going on? Why am I so inconsistent? Today's episode is the end of your inconsistency. If you can control and make this really small change in your golf swing, you'll see the ball going straighter, farther, it'll feel much better, and then you can hit straight, straight, straight instead of right, left, straight on the golf course. A main reason why golfers are so inconsistent all comes down to your hands and club face. So your hands, it's the only part that actually touches the club here when you grip it. And your hands have a big role in controlling how this club face moves through impact. Hold on to this rule for the rest of your life. It's a serious law. The club face angle is the start direction of the golf ball. So wherever this points, when it hits the ball, it will start in that direction. Straight, right, left. We want this to be pointing more at the target, shot after shot. And one of the reasons why golfers are so inconsistent is due to the fact that they are trying to control this a lot through impact. So this is always changing. What does that mean for your golf shots? It means your golf shots are always different. This club face is like a windshield wiper through impact. For you to be consistent, you need this club face to go through impact really quiet. And you know what's nice about it? You don't have to do a whole lot of work. If you can keep this club face quieter, you're not relying on timing so much. The ball will go to your target, and you'll have a nice smile on your face as you make birdie and your friends are gonna be jealous. Here is the small change that is going to revolutionize your ball striking, give you superior consistency. With your hands, I want you to do absolutely nothing with them. When we swing through impact, I want you to do nothing. And you'll find that when you do nothing with the hands, if you start your club face at square here, you swing back to the top, you can return the club back to the same spot you started here at address. So quiet hands leads to a very stable club face. The ball starts to your target. And if I want to be consistent, which I do, I would try and keep this club face as square as possible back and through, and that's a nice straight shot right there. Why did it go straight? Club face pointed at the target when I hit it. And the better you can get at controlling this club face, the more consistent you will be. If you can feel how this club face stays pointed at the target, ideally you get a nice tight dispersion where the ball is starting targetward every single time. Here's an excellent drill to help you control the club face so much better. Your hands are like a representation of the club face. Let's think about your lead hand. As you swing through impact, the angle of this lead hand should not change. So no rotation towards the sky, away from the sky, and on the ground it looks like this. No hand rotation this way, or this way. So no rolling of this lead hand. Putting all the feeling in the lead hand. The lead hand is your club face. As I swing back, I'm not rotating my lead hand. And as I swing through, I'm not rotating my lead hand. What it looks like from this angle too, very important. You should see that the back of your lead hand points at the target and on the way through, it continues on that same angle. None of this rolling through impact. Now with the club in my hands, I get the feeling of what it's like to open and close the club face by hand rotation. If the club face starts here at square, and I swing the club back to here, where is it? It's still square. And as I swing through impact, it's still square. And even past impact, ideally, still square. Keeping the hands quiet means the club face doesn't change. It means more consistency for you. Take a club in your lead hand and we're just going to swing back and through little chip shots, controlling the club face. And by controlling, I mean quiet hands. So feeling the club face staying very quiet, feeling the lead hand pointing at the target the entire shot. Okay, very quiet hands. Ball started straight, that went to my target. Club face control here. You should be seeing that you're starting it to your target. Put an alignment stick out there as your target. Chip to it, just like this. So I'm hitting straight shots. They're all flying straight. They're all going to my target. 
Here's what happens if I rotate my hands. So let's say I turn the hands closed. I really close the club face down aggressively like most golfers. That one went left, straight left, because the club face pointed left. If I don't do it enough, let's say I just kept the club face open, it should go right. So that one went off to the right. Then we're gonna put two hands on the club, hit some pitch shots where I'm feeling back and through this club face angle does not change. Back, through, that was a good one. That one is dead straight. Pretty powerful too, hitting on the center of the club face. I think you'll find that as you're doing less with the hands, the golf swing gets a whole lot easier. So this is the micro level first. You need to get this feeling first. Then we build it up into the golf swings. And this is where things tend to go sideways for a lot of golfers. I'll see people swing back good and then they'll start to roll the hands and the look at that club face, it's just opening. Whew. Ball's going off the planet then because we've changed that. We've changed the angle of the club face. Now everything else changes. It's a big variable. So as I swing back, I'm here and I'm not doing anything to change the angle of the club face. I'm simply using my shoulders as I go back. And when I get to the top, look at this magic. You see the club face angle is about the same angle as my wrist here and the wrist is flat. That's the money position. And that's what quiet hands can get you into. Your goal throughout the golf swing is to know this club face. Then as I start down, nothing's changing with the hands. Flat wrist still at this point. Club face angle is square. And as I'm swinging into impact, magically, boom, right back to where I started. Let's hit a lovely shot, keeping the hands very quiet. Good strike. Pretty straight ball, not a whole lot of effort. And this is how I would build this into your swing too. If we were working together, I would make sure that we've got this club face under control. Straight ball, starting on that line. Not a whole lot of effort, just feeling the club face being controlled. And as you get better and better at mastering this, start kicking it up to the full swing level. Good strike. That one probably started a little right. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Just a hair to the right, just stayed out there, but I'm on the green. I've got a nice putt for birdie. Oh, that was really good. Does it get any straighter than that? That's fun. By the way, I've got a free mini course, go.segudo.golf. You can check it out in the comments and description below. It's the top three keys you need to be a great ball striker. Strongly recommend checking that out as it helps you build up your golf swing like we're doing here today. So you've just seen some very consistent golf shots, a nice pattern. Having a pattern is so important. If you're seeing right, left, straight, right, left, straight, 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 left, left, right, we need to go back to club face. Especially if you're stuck in the, the golf swing desert for 40 years and you're like, I just wanna stop wandering. And you're crawling, crawling. Ugh. This gets you out of crawling, gets you out of the desert. Another good strike. Even if it doesn't start perfectly online, oh, my radar was off for that one, that was nice. Even if it doesn't start perfectly online, if it starts in a range, in like a shot cone, let's say you got 10 yards on either side, that's really good. It doesn't have to be perfect, we just need to be good enough in golf. Average is good. If your average is 10, 10 yards on either side, you're playing good golf. The fairway is usually 60 yards wide. You got plenty of room out there when you control the club face. One ninety four point eight, just a hair left, just a little bit outside. But you know what? I'm not complaining because I'm on the green still. I've got a nice birdie putt. You can take the pressure off our game when the club face is square. You'll hit some bad ones. You hit some good ones, but they're going to mostly be at your target when you know how to do this. That was straight. Another really important part about club face. This is like a gem for your golf swing. We got to keep it square through impact as well. This is the part most golfers will have the issue with. I'll see golfers do this. They'll rotate their hands, the club face closes a lot. We covered that base. The second base though is this rotation can sometimes cause golfers to flip as well. So you're losing 
that crispy feeling. You're actually hitting a lot of inconsistent shots. You don't really hit a divot in front of the ball. That's why you'll play some really good golf. You keep the hands quiet and we focus on the club face being square through impact. We want the hands to be ahead of the ball at impact, never falling back, never flipping back, the weight never going back. We want to go forward with it. So hands forward ahead of the ball, continuing that feeling through the shot, club face is still square. Impact through doesn't change. That would be ideal. And if you can do that through the shot, and you can see a little bit of a cupping in the right wrist, the trail wrist, you are going to feel ball striking compression like you wouldn't believe. So that's me holding my finish. Good impact position. The hands have to be ahead for me to get there. You just saw me do a video recently on this, learning the golf swing backwards to get the best ball striking ever. And I actually think it's a great place for you to start with figuring out how to get to here. Now that wasn't a perfect shot, but the idea is to get the form. You're gonna hit some great shots too with this feeling. Back, good impact. Feeling good impact, swinging about 60%. Then I can, I can go up to 80%, same feeling, just arms straight, hands ahead. Club face not changing its angle. Where's the ball going to go to? My target. Life is good when it goes to my target. That was a really nice one. That was a really nice one. That's why we play golf. That makes golf so much more fun. So Segudo golfers, you know what to do. We're controlling the club face to hit the target to be super consistent. This is the end of inconsistency. We should never hear about inconsistency again after this episode. If you're looking for a way to play your best golf right now, check out my website, segudo.golf. It's a complete golf swing training program that builds your golf swing to hit shot after shot crispy, just like that. Life is too short to play bad golf. So start playing the best golf of your life with segudo.golf. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in a future episode.